Break it out into your church. You don't, you don't have your records you can dedicate to your loved one in the morning for you on your way to school or to work. There's no radio like that. It's all oldies of this kind of music or that kind of music. I don't even know where the new records get played at. They got TV. Yeah, YouTube is probably the freshest thing, you, you know, could, you know, internet. So um, I'm going to be down with that if that's what it takes. We're going to find a way to be heard. Sure. Yeah. And we are our best ambassadors. I said, we go out on the road all the time. So we're going to be performing this music. At least we got 33 new songs out there. Mm. That's fantastic. All right, we're going to take a couple of questions. Okay. <laughs> So much. We can never thank you enough. And uh, especially for the deep political knowledge that you've laid on us through things like Dope Dogs and recommending Holly Sklar's book Trilateralism in the middle of a rock album. That's rare, dude. And that's like silly serious, okay? So my question is how and why do you navigate what you say in your book, childlike, not childish, to convey deep political knowledge. You don't want to get your ass kicked by talking too loud. <laughs> or if you don't want to be on that little black book that you know that um, they have when they investigate you when you start talking out loud. And plus, I don't know nothing for sure. I can only say things that what if this is the way it is. What if it's that way? Could it possibly be this way? I don't want to preach nothing because I believe I don't think I know nothing. I'm just saying there's, there's some other choices to the things I think. So when I say something like America East is young, that's a concept for a record. But I do know you would not be able to say that today. Hmm. You know that's something you could say back then because everybody was protesting the Vietnam War. When that was over with, everything about it was over. Would 